Craig Hopkins Installation Center here in Cleveland, Georgia. If your car looks like this, or would you really rather have your car look like this? Now, you can if you just go down to Auto Metal Direct and buy the panels because they've dealt a lot of stuff for Fords. Follow along, we're going to show you how to get this car up on jack stands, supported correctly, and the panels off and back on. Now, if you're doing the job and you're going to take the quarter panels off the car, make sure that it's supported underneath the suspension. It helps to carry the load and keep the car level. I recommend you do one quarter panel at a time if you haven't done this. I've done it a couple of times, so I'm just going to take the back of the car off. First thing we're going to do with the car is we're going to remove the lead out of the lead wells. I recommend melting it out rather than grinding it. Grinding it puts it in the air. You're going to breathe it. Not a good thing. So get the gloves, get the wire brush, get the torch, we'll melt the lead. These projects are all about the tips, make your life easy. If you notice, Ford has some little stylized pieces here, kind of duplicating scoops, but they have the pins welded to the car, which I could duplicate, but it's very problematic when you're color sanding the car. So there's a cure for that. There are trim screws with little heads on them. I'll give you a better shot of this. They can go in here, but where do they go? So what we'll do is we'll just cut this piece of panel out here, save it for a pattern on both sides. Okay, I like to chisel panels off the car and I'm gonna show you why. Look, if you're drilling your panels off, you wind up with holes where you don't want them. These were drilled off. I'm trying to save the trunk drop off down there. So I'm gonna have to weld all that shut because I like the spot weld stuff together anyways. And I like to remove them with chisels. I have two basic chisels. I have one chisel that rips. I'm gonna make a long cut on the panel, get most of the panel out of the way. Then I'm gonna attack it with this chisel here. It only has a single point on it. And it makes it a lot easier to come along and knock the spot welds out of the way. Okay, this is very simple. I've left the quarter panel in the car cut still welded to the inner structure and the roof panel right back over. Now when I cut the new quarter panel, I'm going to bring it just inside of my line here. And then when I weld, I can weld the old quarter panel, the new quarter panel and the roof all in one lap. And that will be very strong and will never break. You know, once you have the panel trimmed off using the chisel and it's leaving little nubs on the car, then I use a 3 16 wide grinding wheel on an air grinder. And I'll just go ahead and very carefully remove those down. I'll finish up with a three inch roll off wheel and just level everything up and then we'll use a weld through primer up here. Because we're doing this as a tech article and you're probably doing it at home, I've elected to do two things. Splice the back of that wheelhouse in and splice the bottom of the drop-off in. Now you can replace them all, but I'm here to tell you it's a lot of work to get the whole wheelhouse in the car and it doesn't really need it. So I've laid the tape out where I can cut the bottom of the car below the line. I'm not going to lap weld it, I'm going to butt weld it. But when I put it up there, it's a lot easier to scribe the part you're using onto what it's going to be joined to makes it a lot easier to put them together. You know, we were talking earlier about how to land this in the lead well and how to weld all the panels together. So now you're gonna see the results of that. I'm just gonna finish trimming the quarter panel to let it drop down into the lead well. And we still have that little piece of the quarter panel there. When this all welds together, it's gonna be super strong. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that out, prep that. Then we can pull the panels back off the car, do our OSA, do the, any holes we need to do for plug welding, put the weld through primer on it, put the car back together, gap it up. You know, the secret to the butt welding is a perfect fit. That's why we scribed it and ground it. Gotta be pretty darn close. This is all about control. So what I'm gonna do is tack the panel in place as I'm moving it in and out to get that perfect flush alignment. 
once you have it tucked and flushed where you like it, then I'm going to weld in one direction only. In small welds, maybe three or four beads. And then I'm going to use the air to cool the weld down and continue progressing in one direction only. If you skip around, you get a knot in the middle, you're done. You've already got something in there you can't get out. Again, small welds, cool it down. Small welds, cool it down one direction. Now I'm going to weld the wheelhouse piece on that we did, but welding it the same way. But I'm going to leave it loose where it attaches to the drop-off, just in case I have to have a little bit of tilt back into the quarter panel. When I'm done putting those together, I'm going to come back with some E-coat in a can and seal these up. Suffice to say, if you're going to plug weld the car together, you're going to figure out where the spot welds were, drill the holes, do your MIG welding. Me, I'm going to use a spot welder. So all I have to do is clean up the surface. Now, I did put holes down here where it lays on the rocker. I can't out get in there. And I have them up in the door jam area where I can't reach it with the spot welder also. Everything else, I'm just going to prep it for welding. Spot welding. Now we've got the panels up on the car. We're really happy with the gaps and the fits. I've got to tell you, quality parts. But they didn't just leave you hanging. There's a few more things to add to the car. Uh, like we got a hole down here and we don't have any gutters. But they made a panel specifically. Come in, weld into the car right there. Okay, what we're gonna do now is MIG weld the quarter panel to the old quarter panel to the roof like we talked about earlier. Secret to doing any kind of welding is all the panels must be tight together. Gaps are a problem. So I have a clamp through the roof. I'm just going to tap it down, make sure it's an area. I'll put a couple tacks in it. One other thing to be thinking about, because it was leaded up there, sometimes you won't get the prettiest weld simply because the old lead kind of flows back out. So it doesn't interrupt the integrity of the weld, but it does give it a kind of an odd appearance. Now, we also save a little panel for the trim, and I aligned it to the front and the top. So you'll know exactly where you're going to put the screws. You saw how we put the roof joints together, spot all the rest of the car together. It really is a matter of just fitting everything before you weld the car together. <laughs>